dear friends welcome back to my channel today we're going to know how to do fast alignment with the help of guides and smart guides there's a difference between guides and smart guides which i'm going to show you in my tutorial secondly if there is a bad alignment in your design it can give you a messy kind of look and if you're having a good alignment in your design it can give you a bit professional class so without any further ado let's get started Guys, for understanding the fast alignment more better, you can check out my videos on layers. I have attached links for you in the description box or else you can hit the i button. In my previous videos, I have talked about layers. Make sure you watch them for better understanding of fast alignment. Photoshop is built in precision. It helps you to align text or images pixel perfect. As you can see on my canvas, I have one triangle. Now we are going to talk about our very first method of alignment. That is smart guides. We can turn on our smart guides from view, show and smart guides. Now if your move tool is active, you when you hover over this triangle, you will notice these pink lines. These pink lines help you help you to align the triangle more precisely. Okay, so next up we have is our guides. Mark my words guys, I'm talking about guides and not smart guides. To use them, press Ctrl R on your canvas. You will notice these scales or rulers on your interface on the top and on the left hand side of your interface. If you don't remember the shortcut, you can also go to view and rulers. Just left click, just left click the mouse and drag it over onto the canvas. Similarly, we're going to do from the top, just left click and drag it over onto the canvas. You can add as many as guides you want for more precision. Sometimes we misplace these guides accidentally. What we can do is we can lock our guides to prevent it from misplace. Press Ctrl Alt semicolon to lock these guides. Now even if I want to misplace or intentionally, intentionally move these guides, I cannot move it. Why so? Because I have locked these guides. Now what to unlock it? Go to reverse options that I have told you. Control Alt Control Alt semicolon. Now we're going to come up on our alignment options. When your move tool is active, you see that there are alignment options which are not active. Why so? Because for alignment options, you must at least have two selections. Let me show you by giving an example. Note down, if you want to align anything, you must have at least two selections. Let's suppose if we want this rectangle to be left hand side of this canvas, I want to say that I want this rectangle to be left hand side in respect of this canvas. That's why we need two selections. I have selected this triangle layer and press Ctrl A on your keyboard. Now my canvas is selected and my triangle layer is also selected. Now you can see the, uh, the options that were unactive at that time were active, are active now. Now you can align left this triangle, mid or right hand side of the canvas. You can also do align top edges, bottom edges and vertically. Let's try these combinations with the help. I've already, I've already told you how to align a shape. Now we're going to go, now we're going to align images and text. This is our image. I've selected my image and press control A. See my options are activated now. Align left, align right align mid now how to deselect this this line this border line whatever it is control uh, press control d and it will deselect your selection now i'm going to show how to align your text I've, i have selected my text layer press control a on your keyboard now our canvas is also selected make it in the mid or center align see now it's it is now it is center aligned. Alignments are very important part of everyday project. Make sure you learn it before moving ahead. Hope you understood this video completely. And if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more fruitful content in the future. Please in the comment section, 
write down and tell me what you guys want to watch in the next video i'll come back with more new videos for you guys stay tuned stay care bye bye